Hello, YouTubers. This is David Attenborough, welcoming you to another tutorial on neural networks. I am taking some time off from exploring the heart of the Amazonian rainforest to bring you something quite remarkable, something more amazing than the blue jungle caiman, or even the spotted cheetah pansy. What you are hearing is no TTS, but the voice of my good friend, Yumi Bang Bang. But I don't have to be me. Why, I could be space enthusiast Neil deGrasse Tyson. Come with me as we explore the depths of the cosmos. We'll slip through black holes, rim the rings of Saturn, and discuss the unexplored ocean of Uranus. Or perhaps I am Vincent Price, master of the macabre. Beware when you feel the tingle of fear, for death is upon you. I adore bats, monsters, and beautiful witchy women. Or how about, how about I, be I become Homer Simpson? Do I hope Mr. Burst doesn't fire me because I accidentally ate all of his birthday cake. Oh, I'm still hungry. Hey, Marge, where did I put that box of chocks of frosted donuts? Oh, oh. This is all accomplished with a new technology called Retrieval Based Voice Conversion, or RVC. RVC's architecture is based on the VITS model, but unfortunately, we cannot use a pre trained VITS model, so we must download one of the many publicly available models or train one of our own. One resource is this Discord channel's voice models section. The link is in the description below. A quality model is usually trained around 500 to 1000 epochs. The RVC system can train data sets with as little as 10 minutes of audio clips. These clips should be 10 seconds or less in length and have as little noise as possible. For this tutorial, We'll be using Ubuntu Linux to train our model. There is a zip download for Windows and Mac users that contains all necessary dependencies, but you may run into some CUDA and CUDUN issues. Another option is the provided Google Collab. Training may be slow, but it is free. An 8 gigabyte or more NVIDIA graphics card is recommended for training as well as using a new Anaconda environment. First, install the latest version of PyTorch with CUDA using pip. Then pip install the requirements file. We will need some pre-trained models. Download and place the Hubert base model in the RVC folder. Also, we need these four version 2 pre-trained models to be placed into the pre-trained version 2 folder. Make sure you have the Ubuntu FFmpeg repo installed with this command, as well as the wrapper FFmpeg Python repository installed with this command. Start the web server with the infer web python file. You can see we have tabs for inference, vocal separation for music, and a training tab. Enter the name of the project. Select version 2, 48K for best quality, and adjust the number of CPU processes. I've placed the dataset folder of WAV files in the RVC folder. Now, process the data. We can see the progress in the terminal window. Now, we must extract the features of the audio. If you are using multiple GPUs, you will see them listed here. I recommend Harvest for the best quality. Now we click the button and wait. Our data is now ready to be trained. Set the save frequency to your desire. 
500 to 1000 epochs should be our goal. With my massive A6000 cards, I can run a high batch size, but you may need to lower it if you receive an error during training or if the process freezes or crashes. Now, press the one-click training button. We can observe the terminal for the progress or any errors. Checkpoints will be written to the logs directory inside your project folder. Once training is complete, a final checkpoint will be saved in the weights folder. Also, a feature index file will be trained. If you do not see this file, it is possible your dataset is too large. You can try training it separately by clicking the Train Feature Index button. Now for the fun! Let's go to the Model Inference tab and hit the Refresh button. We should see our model and the index file in the drop-down boxes. You may need to raise or lower the pitch for the titled voice to sound as it should. Enter the path to your audio file here. Use Harvest for the best quality. Leave all other options alone for now and press the Convert button. After some time, our file will be ready and we can click the DOS to save it to disk. RVC can even be used real time with little latency. Check out this fellow's video tutorial on how to use the real time voice changer by W. Okada. Wow! Think of all the projects that can be done using RVC. We can make speeches, documentaries, video game character dialogue, even music vocals. The possibilities are endless. Well, my friends, I must travel back into the depths of the jungle, searching for the next marvel of nature and technology. Please like and subscribe for more tutorials and videos. See you all next time and have a wonderful day.